Hi, I'm Dr. Adam Fields. I'm excited about sharing these posture exercises that are geared for TMJ for you. You're going to need a wall, so let's go ahead and get against that wall. These are called strong posture neck retractions, but let's get you in position first. So come completely against the wall, your butt, your shoulders, your head, your heels are against the wall. And now look down at your feet and step one foot away from the wall. Your feet are still hip distance apart. Your hands are, uh, the backs of your hands are against the wall. Good. So now that you're here, just take inventory. I want your quads totally engaged, your legs completely contracted here, your chin is down, and you're looking straight ahead. Now we're gonna do the strong posture neck retractions, so push your head straight against that wall as you pull your shoulders down. Push, 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 and let's just hold that for a little bit. Push that head against the wall. You're gonna feel the back of your head is opening up, the front of your neck is just tightening, and you are really reprogramming. Forward head posture is not good for TMJ. So now just relax for a second. Now take a big breath in, tighten the quads, pull the shoulders down and push as you breathe out. Push that head up against the wall. Push it, push it, push it. Good. Your feet, you're pointed straight ahead. Your legs are engaged. Take a big breath in, relax for a second and then breathe out and push. Some of you are not going to be reaching the wall and that's okay. Keep the chin down, I don't want any extension. If you're looking at, the, at your ceiling right now, you're not doing this right. Good, relax for a second, take a big breath in. And now push, push against that wall. Push it, push it, push it. Notice how far down my chin is. It's very good, your shoulders are pulled down, the quads are engaged. Good, feel this, just let's get a little rhythm here. Big breath in and breathe out and push. Good. Keep going. Big breath in through your nose. Breathe out and push. Good. Keep going at your own pace now. Forward head posture causes the condyles to go deeper into the joint so it can really mess with your TMJ. So let's go ahead. Keep the breaths in and pushing back. Good. Now just hold that, relax for a second. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do strong posture pelvic tilts. So your back is arched right now probably, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna push your low back into the ground as you pull your, your belly button in. Keep the legs engaged and just, just, just hold that for a little bit. So the legs are strong, the low back is pushed, Notice this space right here between my spine and the wall is just closing and it's getting smaller and smaller. The chin is down, remind your chin down, remind your shoulders, the thumb and the pinky are both on the wall. Good, pull the shoulders down and then now relax for a second and arch, big breath in and then breathe out and crunch. Good, you're doing great, big breath in. Feel the abs below your belly button. Breathing in through your nose. Good. It's good to have the wall. It's an, it's an objective vertical to correlate your perception of reality. Your body says, okay, I need to be vertical. Chin down, remind it down. Really just Engage those abs as hard as you can. Big breath in, arching. You're doing great, people. Keep it up, push, 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 push. You're, you're with yourself. This is just you and you, go for it. Give yourself the workout that you deserve here. Give yourself that moment of just intense strength where you just surprise yourself. You go, oh, wow, I really went hard on that rep. Go, make this rep count. Make your body not forget this rep. Big breath in and arching. Ah, oh, loving it. Breathing out and just push. Just get that belly button in. Good, so come away from the wall here. Now I want you to interlace your fingers behind your back. Get your palms together. Pinch your shoulder blades. Pull your shoulders back down towards your butt. Good, and we're gonna just do some lateral flexion. Good, notice we're here. You can even arch a little bit and then come side to side with your ears. We're stretching out the scalenes. 
the chest, those pectoralis minor muscles get too tight from all the tech and that contributes to poor posture. We're gonna get those shoulders back. We love it. We're gonna walk into that room and whoa, that guy has great posture. Oh, that gal has quite the stature. Oh, we love it. They're looking great. I, sign me up. Whatever they're doing, I want. <laughs> Keep going. Arch it. Clasp those hands. Good. Let's go back for some more strong posture neck retractions. Come against your wall and bring your feet one foot distance away from the wall. Your hips, your, your shoulders, your back of your hands against that wall. Oh, we're loving it. Okay, tighten those legs hard. Push, 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 push. Good, push that head back. We're just gonna hold this one. Push it, push it, push it. Let's hold it for a few seconds, about 30 seconds or so. Really pull the shoulders down. Open those fingers. Tighten those legs. Loving it. Your posture is an expression of your unconscious mind. What is happening in your unconscious mind is driving where your body goes for sure. So, but the cool thing is, is we can change your posture and we can influence your unconscious mind too. When your posture is better, you have better thoughts of yourself, your confidence goes up, you believe in what you say more, it's incredible. So let's go ahead and push, 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 last bit, chin is down, chin is down. Good, and now we're gonna relax, big breath in, and then push again. Good, I'm gonna give you an option. If you're really flexible, put your arms up at goalposts like this, just um, 90 degree angles, and push. And big breath in, let it relax for a second, and then push. Try and bring those shoulders back down towards your hips, straighten the legs, just go for it. Big breath in. This isn't like doing squats, but it certainly pushes you. Good. Okay, let's bring the arms down. We're gonna do some of those strong posture pelvic tilts. Hands, back of the hands against the wall and push, push, push that low back into the wall. Push, keep the chin down. We'll hold it for a little bit on the first one. Straighten the legs, tighten those legs as hard as you can. Good, maybe you'll feel your body just quivering a little bit. Good, hold that, hold that. You'll feel just deep, right all the way to the, just deep pelvic muscles. Good, now we're gonna arch it, big breath in through the nose, and then breathe it out and go for it and drag, we love this. Oh yeah. People like, TMJ, what, this exercise? Come on, it's real people. We've done the first four TMJ. Now it's time to really integrate it all together. Arching and crunching it, crunching it, crunching it, crunching. Keep the hips and the low back against, keep the hips, the low back, the shoulders against the wall, pushing, pushing, pushing. Good. Okay, let's do some of these with goal posts. This time the back of the hands against the wall. Good, and this is a little more difficult. You're gonna feel your chest stretch, arching and then crunching. I'm loving it, how about you? Give yourself a little smile, come on. Get happy, people. Just because you've got a challenge doesn't mean you can't be happy in the middle of it. Push it, push that low back into the ground. Let's do three more, arching and then crunching. Two more, big breath in and crunching. Straighten those legs and good. Go ahead and come away from the wall. Feel how upright your body is right now, how your head just wants to float up to the ceiling. For our next exercise, I want you to bring your right leg up. I'm gonna bring my, I'm gonna bring my left leg up to a 90 degree angle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be balancing, right? And this is gonna stimulate proprioception Hands are facing towards me. Good. And we're gonna do an open mouth exercise. Ready, open. The tongue is pushing the jaw down just like this. Keep that mouth open while I talk. The head is coming straight up. The toe in the non-standing leg is gonna be pointed up towards the ceiling. 
your palms are facing towards me, the hands are way open, just keep that mouth open like that. The, the ears are back over the so shoulder, so push those ears back over the shoulder. The chest is up, really open up that mouth. Feel the standing leg strength, the glutes, the quads, everything. Hopefully you're wobbling a little bit. That's gonna really program in that mouth to be open. We wanna open up our openers and get those clinchers out of the picture. Good, okay, let's go ahead and put your legs down, shake them out a little bit. Good, let's do a little knuckle massage on our masters. Let's see those knuckles go right up to your cheekbone and just pull it down. Just Working that masseter all the way up from the cheekbones. Again, pulling it down slow. I want you to say, oh boy, I'm going hard. This is intense. Or maybe I feel it radiate to my eyeballs or whatnot. But just get this just digging in. Good. Ooh, I'm feeling a little pain in there too. One more. Okay, we're going to do our stork exercise on the other side. So you're going to raise your left leg up. The toe is back up towards you, there's a 90 degree angle between your hip and your, to your, your torso and your upper leg, your lower leg and your upper leg have a 90 degree angle. The palms are facing me, the chest is up. Good, and open that mouth. Bring, the, bring your ears back over your shoulder. I want an, an active pushback, just like you did with the strong posture neck retractions. Good, push them back as you open up that jaw. You might be swaying like a tree in the forest right now and that is a good thing. We want a little bit of a wobble if, you, if you've got it. It's gonna help program things. Let's go for another five seconds. Four, three, open wide. Come on, you can do it. Two, one, and put it down. Let's shake the legs out a little bit. And, and work those masseters. Again, knuckles just driving them down. Good. Let's get a little relief here. Let's go up to your temporalis muscle, right on the sides of your head, just like this. Again, do some circles there. You guys know me. You know I'm not into going gentle. This is, we're going for it. Push in there, feel it as you let your face relax at the same time though. It's not like, oh, I got it. It's more like, oh, I got it. I'm going deep, but I'm relaxed. This is great. Feeling good. Telling yourself you're getting better every day in every way. Even on your challenging days, you're getting better every day. Okay, let's do some occipital lifts. Just a few. Get that knuckle right there, right behind your ear on the mastoid process. And we're gonna push up with one hand as we pull down with the other. If you get dizzy or don't feel right with this, you're about 1% of the population and that's okay. Just go side to side with the head and don't do the push. Perfect. Let's give about 10 of these. Good, now we're gonna work the platysma muscle. You're gonna pull the skin down. So take the web of your hand Go right to your neck and just pull your skin down, put the other hand on top of it, and jut that chin straight up. And you're gonna feel the whole front of your neck just get super taut. Now you're looking at your ceiling, you're up there, and I want you to, as, as you feel that full tautness, I want you to jut your head towards the ceiling. Just pushing it up and pulling it back. Pushing it up, pulling it back. There you go, keep going. Do about 10 of these. Push, good. Keep that beautiful posture that you have, that you, I know you're gonna take out into the world and grace everyone you know with it. Good, push, 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 and back. Good posture even leads to better cardiovascular health. It's amazing. So go ahead and just relax for a second. Let's do a counter stretch. Take both hands and just pull your chin down to your chest. Great. As you all know, emotions affect the TMJ. So we're gonna focus on a word today. The word is gratitude. So we're gonna breathe in and you're gonna feel grateful and breathe out. Breathe in the gratitude. 
You're here, you're right now, your heart is beating, you're participating. Feel the gratitude for birds, for rocks, for trees, for legs, for hands, for a hand to hold. Be grateful for that friend, that spouse, that child, that person in your life that you get to hold their hand. A mind that works. Allow that gratefulness to put a small smile on your face. Let the gratitude just invade your face and your muscles in your face and feel that joy. I probably have never met you before, but I'm grateful for you and I'm grateful for your commitment to your own health. Do two TMJ videos a day and remember self-care is high quality health care and you're doing it.